The mayor's office in Seattle is testing a scoring system to determine which encampments should be removed first. The point system would be used by a new working group in the city called the United Care Team. Fox 13's Matt Markovich reports the roughly 60-person team would be responsible for all tent and RV encampment removals. New information coming out about a point system the city of Seattle is considering on which encampments are the most problematic. Number one on the list, this one. I mean, it, it's horrible, you know, I mean, this piles, you know, where do you put it, you know? I mean, it, it, it's bad though, it stinks. The camp next to the First South Bridge is bad on so many levels, but it's where Richard currently calls home. You got flies, dead rats, yeah. you got chop shop, yeah. you got Drugs, yeah, yeah, prostitution, drugs, shootings, stabbings, um, anything you can find criminal happens here. Over the years, the camp's issues have become legendary. It sits on slivers of land owned by the city, county, and state, so responsibility for it has been fractured. I would suggest as a cohesive strategic approach, a database approach, is what we're trying to do under the Harrell administration. When Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell unveiled his homelessness response plan in May, he hinted about a cleanup prioritization plan. We have a criteria by which we'll measure the areas we'll clean up. In a public disclosure request made by Public Cola, elements of that plan have emerged. It's based on an encampment scoring system where points are awarded on such things as the amount of debris near a waterway, fires in the last 10 days, with the highest scores going to shots fired fatality and if that fatality happened in the last 10 days. The First Avenue Bridge Camp scored the highest in camps with RVs. Does it surprise you it's number one on the city's most problematic camps? No, not at all, actually, because I've been to several of them, and this is the worst. The prioritization strategy was an internal document, not intended to be made public. On one page, it suggests we need to be able to tell the public why we are addressing Site A over Site B and asks, should the public be able to go on the dashboard and see where their site stands in the priority to others? The mayor's office saying today the system is currently being tested and frequently refined. So we're in current conversations now about if and how we would do a proactive approach. During the mayor's May announcement, Deputy Mayor Tiffany Washington said she's the one who ultimately makes the final decision about which camps get cleared first. The city of Seattle is scheduling camp clearings and RV removals throughout this month. This one is not on the list. In Seattle, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.